Marriage really is for four things. First of all, it is for children. Be fruitful and multiply. And children, as we heard read tonight in the psalm, are a heritage from the Lord. They are a blessing from heaven. Secondly, marriage is to eliminate solitude. It is not good for men to be alone. It isn't good for a lot of reasons. It isn't good because a man needs a complement to his life. He needs companionship. He needs friendship. He needs accountability. Marriage is designed then to produce children and to provide friendship, to eliminate solitude. Thirdly, to prevent immorality. The Apostle Paul says we need to be married to prevent immorality. Now, there's a fourth reason for marriage. Genesis 26, 6, 7, 8, and 9, it describes Isaac, and it says he was sporting with his wife. And I suppose it could have meant jogging, if, uh, if you want to think that way. Uh, but if you actually look at the NAS, it says caressing, caressing. This is an element of marriage that you have to recognize, and that is the sheer joy and the sheer exhilaration and the sheer love and affection that comes in that union. Yes, it is for children. Yes, it is to eliminate solitude. Yes, it is to prevent immorality, but it is also to provide loving, loving affection.